I'm going to be using a wig from the company called Divas Wigs. One of the main mistakes that beginners make is not using the right products. I'm going to be using a 30 developer with BW2 powder. You can also use the L'Oreal Quick Blue High Performance Powder. That will also help to take out some of the brassiness when you are bleaching the knots. But do not use a 40 developer because that will be too strong and will possibly bleach the roots of the wig and do not use a 20 because it's not strong enough and you'll probably be waiting for quite some time. Next, I just take the brush, paint the mixture onto the lace closure. Do not apply pressure as you're doing this because you do not want it to leak onto the roots. One of the things that beginners always do is they tend to keep the mixture on for too long. You want to keep it on for no longer than 7 to 12 minutes. If you keep it on longer, you will most likely bleach the roots of the closure or the frontal. Here's our closure unplucked. Here's our closure after it's been plucked. A lot of times people over pluck or they skip the plucking process altogether. And that's something that's really important because that helps to make it look natural. Here's a little guide. Do not pluck all the way back here. Pluck right exactly where the comb is. You don't need to go any deeper than that because it will start to look bald. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop out the first row of hairs all around the closure. And then remember, we're not going all the way back here. We're gonna move the comb up a little bit more and that's all we need to see a little thinness at. Pluck one side of the closure first and then the other side instead of doing the whole thing at once. Start plucking. Also when you're plucking, go in the same direction. I have several videos on this and do not stay in the same place for too long. You want to continue to move the tweezers from one part of that closure to the other part of that invisible middle part line and pluck in the same direction. You want to comb the beginning of the hairs back that we combed out and do the same thing because you can see it's still a little straight and unnatural. And that's it for that part. Now let's do the other two parts. Avoid wearing makeup before you install because it might interfere with the products that you're going to be using, whether it's glue or hairspray. Start off with the clean hairline. I personally use soap and water, but you can use products like this Bold Hold Wig Skin Protectant and other products on the market. A very common mistake is not having a very flat foundation. Either put braids underneath your wig or a nice flat ponytail meaning blow dried here not natural here underneath your wig it will be puffy and look very unnatural now it's time to cut the lace a lot of people are intimidated by this part but it's really easy okay just be confident in yourself a lot of beginners usually cut the lace too close to the hairline or make these really large zigzaggy motion type of things you don't want that okay you want to make small little zigzag motions as you go from one part to the other also beginners like to cut too close to the hairline or too far from the hairline and then you have all this lace nope you want to find the best medium not too close not too far cut off enough just in case if you have to make any mistakes you can go and trim the rest off and you are done Next, wig placement. This is important. A lot of beginners, I see them do this. They put the wig too close to their eyebrows, they minimize their forehead, and it looks, you know, not natural. Or it's too far back, and then your forehead looks larger than what it may be. Now, I have a big forehead, so I don't want my forehead to look bigger than what it's supposed to be. So you want to put it on your hairline, and then scoot it up a couple of centimeters so that it's not directly on your hairline when you're installing the unit. Now for install. We are gonna explain this and break this down. I'm gonna be using Gotta Be Glue hairspray because it's my favorite. It's the easiest, it comes off with water. I don't have to do anything really. You can use glue, gel, you can use hairspray, you can use anything that your heart desires. Keeping the wig where we placed it in our favorite spots. Now if you're using hairspray, do not use a lot, but this one step right here with the finger is important. 
take your finger and rub it back and forth to kind of avoid the drips you don't want it to look too crazy okay spray as much as you need along the way hold it down with two fingers and blow dry now you want to make sure you blow dry it until it's dry okay another thing that beginners do or just people who are unfamiliar with the gotta be glue hairspray is they tend to move it as it's drying now keep it right where it's at once you dry it, you cannot move it it will turn white and flaky but i think this looks damn good y'all and cut off any extra lace at this point Next, we're gonna go into how to secure your wig. It's 2021, our wig should be secured. Use a headband or use hairpins. And then we're gonna style our wig. Now, a lot of, okay, this one I have to stress because beginners feel like it's okay to skip this process or if they style it, they do the most basic styling. Majority of the video, first of all, this looks freaking, oh, this looks so good, guys. I was so amazed. Now. I am going to layer my wig. You don't have to layer your wig. Um, when I say styling, this is just my preference. When I say styling, I'm saying making sure that your hairline in the front looks good if you're going to add any baby hairs, if you're going to flatten down your wig, which is a mandatory. That's not a step that can be skipped. Here's two ways on how you can flatten down your wig. You're going to use a hot comb if you have one. If not, you can go ahead and use a curling iron. And this is gonna also make your hair flat. You're gonna have to go in um, and make small, thin parts, as you can see, and flatten it down by the root. Sometimes I'll use hairspray to help to flatten it down. Do not spray a lot, this will sizzle everywhere. And then use the blow the hot comb, blow dryer, or flat iron, I mean, or curling iron to flatten down the root because you want your wig to lay nice and flawless. And then continue doing this as you go up. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair and I'm gonna curl my hair going in the same direction. It's all gonna be going straight to the back. I mean, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna be flipping my curls going back and you know, flipping it back, not flipping it forward, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. And then I'm gonna use my finger and just twirl it around just so that the curls are not so super tight, but they're tight enough, if that makes sense. And then from here on out, I'm gonna speed this up so we can just speed up the process. Okay, okay, okay. So this part is important too. Um, we are going to be using concealer or a foundation that is your skin tone and has a yellow um, tint, not a red undertone or a red tint. And we're gonna go ahead and make our part look fierce. Okay, we want it to look nice and sharp and clean. And then with the excess on that brush, you can use it to kind of brush the lace, brush it on the lace to make it look even more natural and just flawless. Don't put too much though. That's why I doused it a little bit on my hand. That's why I wiped the excess of the concealer on my hand because you don't want it to be too wet. It's gonna look disgusting. So you wanna make sure you just put enough, okay? Now I'm gonna use black mascara because obviously you can see a little bit of bleach did get on the uh, root. And this is just gonna make it look natural. So when you're outside in the daylight, you don't look crazy. So a lot of beginners tend to put too much mascara, tend to put too much concealer, too much foundation, or a super white foundation, and it looks bizarre, okay? So you do not wanna do that. And this is basically my end result. There is one more step though after this. <laughs> but I forgot I had my edges out, so I'm gonna go ahead and just flyer those little pieces. My 
love how natural this looks this wig from divas wigs honestly i have done a lot of videos with them and i will say this is my favorite wig from them it's all it's so beautiful to the point where i think i might ask for another one just in a longer length but this looks amazing like this wig is not super thick usually their wigs are super thick this one is not super thick. It's nice and natural. It feels like a perm. It looks like a perm. And the fact that it's a closure makes it all even better. Because you know how manageable a closure is. So I use hairspray to keep my curls in place. Obviously, I don't put a lot. So don't go nuts with this. And I just use my hands to open the curls up, as you can see. And then, obviously, I want to show you guys how to take off the wig. Because a lot of beginners do not take off their wig properly. And then complain that they lose their edges. And so, you know, we all have our la- <laughs> Ignore that. We all have our lazy moments. <laughs> and so, you know, I'll pull it off sometimes. No, you don't want to do that. love gotta be glue holding spray because i have a wet paper towel right here okay paper towel and i am just going to dab my hairline dab it dab it keep dabbing it <laughs> okay and the water is going to drip onto it you want it to be nice and wet and it's going to literally peel off your scalp okay it's the most easiest thing it gets slimy there's no harm done no damage and that's basically it so guys i feel like this video was a whole entire guide and i hope i really helped you guys out but to be honest you guys got some really good details in this video i love this wig i cannot wait to continue wearing it and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you guys for watching this video and thank you diva wigs for sponsoring this video bye y'all after i take it off though I go ahead and put it on a mannequin head and let it sit overnight and then tomorrow I put it on.